Hi everybody, Agnes here and I've got a little reading from Neville Goddard and it's from At Your Command today which was written in 1939. So you are at this very moment drawing into your world that which you are now conscious of being. Now you can see what is meant by you must be born again. If you're dissatisfied with your present expression in life, the only way to change it is to take your attention away from that which seems so real to you and rise in consciousness to that which you desire to be. You cannot serve two masters. Therefore, to take your attention from one state of consciousness and place it upon another is to die to one and live to the other. So in relationship to relationships, you've got to be withdrawing your attention from the I'm not loved, I'm not wanted, I'm not secure, I'm not with anyone. And you've got to rise up in consciousness, as he says, and become someone who walks around as I am loved, I am wanted, I'm lovable, and I'm secure. And you walk around with that. And this is irrelevant of a specific person or a current relationship. Even for those of you that do not have a relationship, this still applies. You've got to rise in consciousness and you've got to shed that lonely, alone. Being alone's okay. It's more the lonely, unless you think alone isn't a good thing. Okay. So it's shedding the negative state that being alone or lonely is projected out. You've got to shed that and you've got to replace it with, as Neville says here, you have to be born again. I mean, that's his words. And you have to take your attention from that state of consciousness, which is, I'm alone, I'm single, that's a negative thing and you've got to replace it with the new consciousness or the new man. The old man Neville talks about as the old state of consciousness, the new man. So you're moving into, I love being in this relationship, I love connecting, I love eating dinner together at night, I love having someone to tell my day to, I love cooking together. I love how they really make a great cup of tea. I love having a cup of tea in the morning. I love just going out together on a day off and going exploring somewhere. So you live in this new state. Can you hold it all day? No. You know, I mean, Neville talks about doing it morning, noon and night. And, you know, if you're a black belt in manifesting, you could probably do that. But for those of us that have a challenge holding something all day just do it as much as you can and in meditation or when you're say in the shower and you can do one of those little things I just did like a little enjoying that kind of conversation with yourself it brings you into the new state okay so that's the little reading from Neville and that is a lovely book I'm going to read you know, excerpts from different things and try and apply it to different areas. And um, yeah, may you enjoy Neville's teachings and may you enjoy just applying it to give you relief, you know. His books are quite thin. You can read them quite quickly, but you can go back again and again and again and learn something new every single time. So lots of love and live in the new state okay you can't serve two masters as he says you're either feeling loved and in that joy of connecting and being in relationship even when you're single or you're being single and being negative and grumpy and you know I don't have anyone so you can't serve the two masters make a decision which one you're going to serve and go for it as much as you can in your thought throughout the day lots of love